uh, the, the stuffing balls we've got to make next. So we've got two alphas, a uh, Paxo mix, a uh, litre of water, uh, but add the butter into the water, bring it to the boil. Uh, I think it's 50 grams of butter, if I remember correctly. We've got chicken bouillon, it's veg bouillon for shape of stuffing. My reason in being it's not vegetarian because if you have enough roast, you're probably not going to want to order a stuffing bowl uh, to go there. So what we've got to do, uh, well that's just frying up pan off the boil, we've got to uh, fry off the, the onion and garlic. So it's not got that raw next here, okay? Pop pan. <laughs> this is a new kitchen by the way, it's still getting used to the gas, all that shit. Uh, yeah, it's not good. I'll come up to the boil in a minute. Yeah, just turn the heat. It is um, courgette, apricot, and sage stuffing balls. Okay, um, just got to add the sage in with the onion. So that's fine enough. We've just uh, we've just grated the raw courgette. We've just chopped up the apricots. Um, to be honest, Dan's chopped them up a wee bit too fine. They don't need to be as chopped as that. Okay, I've well done that. Good job. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so we've got our um, water just in uh, come up to the boil here. Yeah, we start to get the, the chicken cubes. Oh, look at this multitasking. Well, the water's at the bottom, just got to add the, the pack mix. Sorry, misread the, the, the specs here. Happens to everybody. Um, yeah, we've missed an alpha, you see, uh, pack mix. I add that in. It's not as thick as a wee bit wet. That's why it cuts so suddenly. It's more like it. So, uh, once that's all mixed in, we've just got to take over the heat, okay? Just got to add the ingredients, the apricots, and the courgettes. Just stir in. And then we are going to add the, the onion when that's fried off. Let it cool slightly and then we're going to mould it into the balls again. Nice and easy. Um, just for the, the you know, easy specs, this could do in a couple of minutes. We've just got to add them in, okay? I just want nice, nicely sweated green onions. Then I just want you to check it for seasoning. Um, and then just leave it to cool so we can uh, then put it into the bowls, okay? Gonna make our stuffing bowls. Uh, so the mix is uh, cooled in a bit. As you can see, it's pretty um, pretty stiff. It's not soft or mushy. It's got nice, still got the nice color to it. So the uh, portion size is one flat ramekin, okay? All wine today. Mold it into a bowl. Whack it on a tray with a bit of oven. Uh, sorry, with a bit of oil and uh, bake them through the oven. Again, these can be made and held during service. Um, and if you need them on the fly and you've got them all made up in the fridge like that, you can you can essentially put them in a hot pan with a bit of oil, uh, get a bit of colour on them and whack them through the oven. They'll not take long to eat up at all. But as I say, we, when we done the cook-off, we, we held them quite a long time. Um, they worked out nicely. Okay, so I'll just put five balls in. I'm going to put them in the oven for probably between eight and ten minutes, just to just to kind of get a nice roasted uh, kind of baked or something. Bowl. We've got our stuffing balls, which is it four or five? What was the five? Five. Five. Sure. I can't can't remember if it was four or five, but essentially they'll be served like that as well. Okay, our baked stuffing balls. 